Hey friends, how are you doing? All right, well I'm taking a little bit of a break from doing school with my kids so that you and I can talk for a little bit and do a little bit of a story time. Now, I feel like things have been pretty serious lately and the whole world's a little bit serious and maybe even a little bit scary. So today, we're just gonna go super silly. So our story time today is all silly stories. And I think in a few weeks, Miss Karen's gonna do a silly story time too. We just feel like we like the silly stories. All right, so we're gonna start with one of my silliest stories that makes me sound super ridiculous. Are you ready? Okay. This one is called The Book With No Pictures. And it is being read with permission from Penguin Publishing. Are you ready? This is one of my kids' favorites. So if they come in from playing outside, you might hear them doing it along with us. Okay? All right. All right. It's by BJ Novak. And it's so silly. But guess what? There are no pictures. So I can show you pages, but it's just going to be words. Are you ready? Okay. This is a book with no pictures. It might seem like no fun to have someone read you a book with no pictures. See, nothing. It probably seems boring and serious, except here's how books work. Everything the words say, the person reading the book has to say no matter what that's the deal that's the rule so that means even if the words say blork wait what that doesn't even mean anything blurf wait a second what this isn't the kind of book i wanted to read and I have to say every word the book says? Uh-oh. I am a monkey who taught myself to read. Hey, I'm not a monkey. And now I'm reading you this book with my monkey mouth in my monkey voice. That's not true, I'm not a monkey. Yes, I am a monkey. Also, I am a robot monkey. And my head is made of blueberry pizza. Wait a second. Is this whole book a trick? Can I stop reading now? Please. No? Oh. And now it's time for me to sing you my favorite song. A song? Really? Do I have to sing a... Oh, no. Glug, glug, glug. My face is a bug. I eat ants for breakfast right off the rug. is ridiculous. Can I stop reading it? No. There are more pages and I have to read the rest. My only friend in the whole wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Booty. Boo Boo Booty, really. And also the kid I'm reading this book to is the best kid ever in the whole entire world. Oh, really? Kids are saying hi from outside. And this kid is the smartest kid too because this kid chose this book even though it had no pictures. What? All right, because kids know this is the book that makes grown-ups have to say silly things and make silly noises. Like, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, here it comes. Are you ready? Glurg, walk home, I do, I do, I I I brong, 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 oof, eef, blaggity, blaggity, glibbity, globbity, globbity, glibbity, beep, bop, eep, donkey face. 
Look at all those E's. You see why I had to say that sound for so long? So many of them. Oh my goodness. Please don't ever make me read this book again. It is so silly. In fact, it is completely and utterly preposterous. Next time, please, 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 please choose a book with pictures, please, because this is just too ridiculous to read. The end. Bonk. I didn't want to say that. All right. Is that so silly? I can't believe I just recorded that and put that somewhere so that people will be able to see that. I'm used to just doing it in front of people. So, all right. I do like at the end, it says at the end of the, about the author, because the author is BJ Novak. It says, there are pictures of him, but not in this book, because this book is the book with no pictures. I hope you enjoyed that one. I do think it's a super silly book, and it's one of my favorites to read, even though I sound ridiculous. All right, let's go ahead and we'll do some dancing fingers and get those a little more awake. Are you ready? Show me those dancing fingers. Can you dance your fingers up and dance your fingers down and dance your fingers to the sides and dance them all around. Dance them on your shoulders and dance them on your head. Dance them on your tummy and let's put them all to bed. Good job. All right, we're gonna read another very silly story. I told you, it's a silly week. Ready? This one is called, I Am a Tiger. And it is by Ross Collins and Carl Newsom. This one is also a very silly book. And it is being read with permission from Scholastic. Scholastic's been doing a lot of nice things while we can't be at school and at story time. Are you ready? It's super silly. Did you see who says they're a tiger? Who is that? Oh, there's a little bit of a glare, sorry. Who is that? Is that a tiger? No, what is that? I know, it's a mouse. Ready? I am a tiger. Um, no, you are not. A tiger is much bigger than you are. And it has a bit more grrrr. Do you have a bit of grrr? Can you tell, tell me your grrr. Ready? Oh, oh, that's a lot of grrr. All right. Ready? Tigers can be small too. Grrr. And not that small. A tiger has stripes. Some do. This one doesn't. So there, I'm a tiger. A tiger can climb a tree, can you? I could climb a tree. I could climb to the moon if I wanted to. Most tigers can. I'm a tiger. Go on then, climb to the moon. I can't just now. It's time for my lunch. A tiger hunts for his lunch. Grr! I'm a tiger. See the tiger? Oh, he's so scary. No, you're not. You're a, a, uh, uh, chew! I'm not an ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, chew. I'm a tiger. Was he sneezing? I know. He must have seasonal allergies like Miss Lisa. <gasps> no, I'm a tiger. a mouse. Look at your tiny twitchy nose. Look at your little hands and feet. I bet you had cheese for breakfast. I'm a tiger. Look at that. Is the mouse telling the tiger that he's not a tiger? So silly. I can do this. Can you? Uh, what about this? Oh, look at that trick. It's a pretty good trick. Oh, yeah, dear. You, sir, are definitely a mouse, and I'm a tiger. If I'm a mouse, then what are they? Hmm. Furry, stripey, what is that? Funny looking face. What is that? Do you know? <gasps> oh, it is a raccoon. <gasps> he says, this is a caterpillar. That's not right. Look at this one. Long, red, likes to pounce. This is a balloon. Oh, bounce. 
I can't read backwards in my phone. Likes to bounce. This is a balloon. Is that a balloon? What is that? Yeah, it's a fox. All right, what about this guy? Oh, thin, pointy, hangs in trees. This is a banana. Is that a banana? What is that? It's a snake. What does snake start with? What's that sound? S S. Good job. Tiny, colorful, sits on a stick. This is a lollipop. Do you see the lollipop? Is that a lollipop? No, it's a bird. All right. Now I really must be going. My lunch won't catch itself. What a silly old bunch. Look at them all just so confused. Oh, he's a pretty happy little mouse, isn't he? I mean, tiger. All right. Let's see. So he's going off to catch his lunch. I apparently can't turn a page. All right. He's looking at himself. Gah! I'm not a tiger. How could I be so wrong? Look at those teeth. Those claws. That tail. It's obvious. What do you think he is? I am a crocodile. Is he a crocodile? No. What's he standing on top of, though? It's a crocodile. That's so silly. All right. You did such a great job with that one. I also, I like at the back where they're all just staring at him. Like, what are you thinking? All right. Our next book is actually going to be a song. Do you know the song Happy and You Know It? Do you want to sing it with me? Let's sing it real fast. Ready? We'll just do the clapping one. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Good job. Now we're going to make it really silly. And if you want, you can stand up and do this one with me. That would be a good idea. Yeah, because I'm not going to be able to do all the parts because I'm sitting in a chair, but I bet you can. Are you ready? This one's called, If You're a Robot and You Know It. This is one of my friend's favorite books. I hope you really like it. Ready? Oh, and instead of your face will surely show it, we're going to have your circuit board show it, okay? If you're a robot and you know it, clap your hands. Good job. If you're a robot and you know it, clap your hands. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, clap your hands. Good job. Did you get to hear it clap its hands? I don't know if you can hear it over our foster dog snoring. He's pretty loud. Ready? If you're a robot and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're a robot and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. Good job. Ready for the next one? Oh, you're definitely going to want to be standing for this part. Ready? We're going to jump and beep. If you're a robot and you know it, jump and beep. Beep, beep. If you're a robot and you know it, jump and beep. Beep, beep. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, jump and beep. Beep, beep. Good job. Did you get to see it beep? Boop. Oh, good job. All right. Ready? Oh, this one has a word you might not know. This one says limbs. Do you know what limbs are? Limbs are our arms and our legs. All right, so we're gonna stretch our limbs. Ready? If you're a robot and you know it, stretch your limbs. Stretch them up high! Oh, I can't stretch. Good job. If you're a robot and you know it, stretch your limbs. Stretch them high! If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, stretch your limbs. Stretch! Good job! All right. Oh, ready? I hope you're not doing this one outside because this part might not be safe. If you're a robot and you know it, fly away. Oh, my wings are a little rusty. If you're a robot and you know it, fly away. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, fly away. Good job. Now, this next part is just musically beautiful. Oh, wait, I should check. 
Grown-ups, are all of your kids still here? Did anybody fly away? All right. If they need to fly away, pause the show and come back. Okay. All righty. Ready? All right. It's musically beautiful. Are you ready? If you're a robot and you know it, shoot laser beams out of your eyes. If you're a robot and you know it, shoot laser beams out of your eyes. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, shoot laser beams out of your eyes. Oh, goodness. That doesn't seem safe. Don't shoot laser beams out of your eyes. No, you're at home. You could get somebody. Okay, ready? We're going to end it just like we end the normal song. If you're a robot and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! If you're a robot and you know it, shout hooray. If you're a robot and you know it, then your circuit board will show it. If you're a robot and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray! You did so good. Did you like that one? It's a silly one, too. Oh, we're just so silly today. All right, I have one more story. And it is my littlest one's favorite story. So this might serve as some sort of honing beacon and she might come running in. Okay, are you ready? This one is called Don't Push the Button and it is by Bill Cotter. And this book is from Jabberwocky. That's a fun name, isn't it? All right, ready? All right, Larry has an important rule for us. Hi, my name is Larry. Welcome to my book. There's only one rule. Don't push the button. Ready? Seriously, don't even think about it. Look at his serious eyebrows. It does look pretty nice though. I wonder what would happen if we pushed it. No, we can't, we mustn't. Actually, my kids are looking. You should give the button one little push. Wait a minute. If we know that something's not okay to do, does it make it okay if nobody's looking? No, we still need to follow the rules even if nobody's looking, don't we? All right. Well, Larry's not gonna make great choices, sorry. Oh, ready? Let's give it one little push, ready? No, push it twice. Okay, let's push it again. Wait a minute, how many times is twice? Oh, let's do it again. One, two, there we go. Ah, now there's two of me. Oh no, push it a bunch of times. Okay, ready? All right, we'll just push until you tell me to stop. Ready? Should I stop yet? Okay. Oh, my kids are literally throwing bricks outside. Shake the book to get rid of all the extra Larrys. Are you ready? Shake it, 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 shake it. Shake. Can you shake you? Shake, 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 shake. Oh, almost just a little bit more. Shake, 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 shake. Are you done shaking? Let's shake one more time. Shake, shake, shake. Okay. Oh, okay. There we go. Now, it says in here, there's a book called, So You Pushed the Button. Now, it says here to scratch Larry's tummy to get him back to normal. Are you ready? Scratch, 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 scratch. Oh, is your tummy ticklish? What if we scratch you? Okay, much better. Let's not push the button again. But that was kind of fun. Maybe just a couple more pushes. What do you think? Oh, 
Oh boy, did we push it a couple more times? We did. All right, you did such a great job and I cannot believe that we were actually able to get through all of our stories and I didn't have to do any different cuts or takes or anything. All right, well, I really hope that you're doing pretty well. Um, I wanted to tell you about a couple things that I've seen people doing that are a little bit silly, but kind of fun. I've seen that some friends are putting pictures of rainbows up in their windows. So if you want to do some rainbow artwork so other people can see it while they walk around your neighborhood, that would be really fun. I've also seen some friends doing going on a bear hunt and putting bears in their front windows so that when other people come walking around, they can go for bear hunts. Doesn't that sound fun? All right, so you can maybe put a little bear out in front. Yeah, that sounds fun. All right, I also want you to try doing something really silly today. I want you to build something silly or draw something silly. And then if it's okay with your grown up, take a picture of it and put it in the comments so I can see what you made. I would love to see your silly creations. Um, if you want, you could do something silly with Play-Doh too. That would be really fun. And did you know that when we work with Play-Doh, we're building our big writing muscles? Yeah. When we work with Play-Doh, it takes a lot of muscle to mold our Play-Doh. If you don't have a Play-Doh recipe, or if you don't have a Play-Doh at home, you can find a recipe for it, and maybe you have some stuff to make Play-Doh. Um, let's see. What else could you do? What else would be silly? Oh, you know what you could do? You could go visit Mr. Jim Gill on his website, and you could do the Silly Dance Contest with your family. That would be really fun. Don't forget, if you're getting a little bit bored or you're getting a little bit tired, of doing the same thing, you can always go look up Jim Gill songs or Lori Berkner songs, and those would both give you a way to get some energy out and maybe help you remember some of the fun that we do at story time. Um, another thing that you could do is you could go in and do some yoga. She has some very silly yoga stories about things like a banana and things like that. That was on Cosmic Kids on YouTube. Um, trying to think of what else we can do that's super silly. I think that's probably it today, but I bet you can come up with some sillier ideas. I hope that I will see you soon. I know it's going to be a little while till we get to do more story time, so we're going to keep doing it this way, but I want you to go ahead and reply so that I can see what you're working on, okay? I really miss you. I hope that you are having such a good time with your family. I hope you're getting outside to play like my kids. Hopefully not with bricks. Don't play with bricks unless you're grown-ups there, okay? My kids are doing it. It's not a great idea. Um, and I hope hope that you are really enjoying your time with your family and with your wonderful grown-ups. Um, say thank you to somebody who is helping us to stay safe. Say write nice thank yous to people who are dropping stuff off at your door um, and to the grocery workers and especially to healthcare workers. Thank you to everybody who's helping us stay safe and thank you to my friends. I miss you and I hope that you're doing great. I'll talk to you later.